Good morning, everybody. Five Farley here. It is 18th of April, Wednesday. We got a big slate of baseball to get to in just a second. Uh, first re recapping yesterday, uh, went one and one uh, with for even money. Um, had the Blue Jays run line, and which won easily, 11 to three. Second game flipped over to the Royals, and they ended up losing in extra innings, five to four. Um, Hard to say I wasn't on the right side there. Danny Duffy going six innings of shutout ball, only two hits, no runs, had a 3-0 lead. Uh, then the bullpen just blows it. Gives up four runs. Uh, they got one to tie it. And then into extra innings for a walk-off home run for Toronto. Home team in extra innings is just usually the ones that comes out on top. So once I saw the bullpen, I blew it. I thought that one was over. But um, hard to say I wasn't on the right side there. I would gladly take at a plus 150 that exact same game again. So anyway, uh, moving on to today, I got three picks for you. Three. There we go. <laughs> um, apparently I'm half in, half out on one of these. Uh, but no, I, I got three good plays. What's really funny about today is there are eight pitchers that have a better, better ERA than their opponent that are underdogs today. So there's some value on the, if we can pick the right ones, um, there's some value on some underdogs today um, and even ones that are not the better ERAs uh, to look at. So uh, if you want, throw some uh, comments down below on any games that you like because I have gone through uh, each one of these games um, from last night and today and evaluated and here's my top three, all right? First, we got uh, Texas at Tampa Bay. Uh, Cole Hamels going against Jacob Faria. Um, again, Faria has a lot of hype. Um, that's great, but Cole Hamels is a veteran. And early in the season, um, I'm going to go with the veteran um, here on the road uh, going against the young Jacob Faria. So uh, um, I don't have my stats pulled up on uh, Cole Hamels here early, but um, I'm backing Hamels, and it was minus 110. It just moved to minus 115. So if you get it at 110, Good job, but uh, looks like most of the line books are moving it up to 115 now. Open up at a plus 114 underdog for Hamels and has now moved up to a 115 favorite. So, um, but back in the Cole Hamels side, second game that I like. This is this one's fantastic. I'm looking forward to this one. Um, going to Minnesota. Not to Minnesota. We're actually going to Puerto Rico. Minnesota versus Cleveland. Uh, Carrasco, the veteran on the mound against uh, Jose Barrios. And uh, Barrios this season has held opponents to a 164 batting average. Um, he has been lights out. Only five earned runs give, given up this year. Two shutouts. Um, Seattle was the only team that gave him problems. Um, and he's going back home to Puerto Rico. If you saw his interviews, it's pretty cool um, how excited he is to pitch for his hometown um, down in Puerto Rico for his home country. Um, that'll be really cool to watch. Uh, he's going to have, I think, a great game. Um, so I, I will back Minnesota Twins at a plus 110 underdog against Cleveland today. Uh, the last game I have is uh, Andrew Triggs. All right, Andrew Triggs at home. What's funny about this is Oakland has the second highest batting average in Major League Baseball right now. It's only behind Boston. So we're getting uh, we're getting the Oakland Athletics, who pl always play well at home. So Oakland Athletics at home. Uh, A's have put up 92 runs this year. It's pretty impressive. Um, I'm trying to. I'm just evaluating across the baseball. The only other teams ahead of them in the AL are the Angels. And the Red Sox. That's it. So not often do we think of the Oakland Athletics as an offensive powerhouse. But uh, uh, here they have just been putting up runs um, like like nobody's business at, at the top of the game. And so um, I'm going to back Oakland Athletics at home against the Chicago White Sox. Who have scored 51 runs on the entire season. Um so that said, 92 runs versus 51 runs. I'm going to take a run line move here. Um, so I'll take the one and a half with uh, uh, Andrew Triggs. It's at plus 100. Uh, grab it now because it's probably going to move up. It opened up uh, money line was at, I think, minus 180. It's up to uh, uh, 
uh, minus 195 now. So anyway, uh, those are my three picks. Cole Hamels, or uh, we'll say Texas Rangers, Minnesota Twins, Oakland Athletics run line. And uh, good luck, everybody. Again, throw your comments down below, and I'll see you again soon.